hi my loves welcome back to the channel you guys know when you see me with this little paper i am about to share some tips with you you already know that's what's going on um thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me so far and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet what are you waiting on is what i want to know so anyways as you can tell from the title, I'm going to share with you seven tips on how to stop living paycheck to paycheck. I know this is something that a lot of us struggle with, so I just want to share my seven tips that I think will help you to stop living like that. So let's say paycheck to paycheck at the top because this is what we're talking about. And let's see how we can stop living like this. So my first step that I want to share is to create a budget. This is very important. Budgets control, have um, let you control your spending, control your money, control everything, know where every dollar is going and stuff like that. So I feel like creating a budget is very, is a very, very important step living paycheck to paycheck without a budget you know you will randomly just spend your money on random stuff like if you want to order stuff on amazon sheen wherever you want to go to the mall and shop you are going to do whatever it is that you want to do step number two reduce non-essentials i'm going to tell you guys something me i used to be someone who whenever i get paid or whenever i have extra money i am heading to the store okay baby i'm going to the mall i'm heading to the store my favorite places to go tj maxx marshall's ross home goods you know those stores always have random stuff and always have multiple different stuff at all times like you never go in those stores and see the same things all the time it's always random stuff so i i was so addicted to those stores like i'm ready to go and spend money on stuff that i don't need and i feel like that's a big issue that we do as human beings we spend our money on a lot of stuff that we don't need just to buy it we have money so let's just buy it so i feel like you need to reduce non-essentials you need to think about when you go to them stores you need to think about okay do i need this am i going to use this because if i'm not i'm not going to buy this that's what i'm i've started to do and i've seen such a difference in me when i go to these stores i no longer buy unnecessary stuff i am so shocked i'm surprised like i walk out the store with exactly what i come about and that's sh that's surprising to me because that wasn't me i used to leave the store with bags and bags of different random stuff um i was so addicted to the little cute notebooks like anything cute i'm addicted to so i used to be so addicted to the little notebooks that's so cute that's in um these stores and i will buy them all the time and they just keep piling up and i'm not even using them so reduce non-essentials though that will help you to cut back on a little bit more cash so you will see where your money is going um when you cut back on stuff that are not essential to you so the next one for me is try a saving challenge and i'm gonna tell you guys why this is important my mom always says to me it doesn't even matter how much you get paid what matters is how much you put down and i just started to understand what she meant when she said that it's like if you put down $10 every time you get paid or $5, it doesn't even matter because I know sometimes we struggle with pay and surviving with a little small paycheck. But let me tell you something, the extra $5, the extra dollar or the extra $10 that you put down, if you put that down every time you get paid, it will add up. So you can try a savings challenge. You don't have to go all big. You can buy a little mini low income saving challenge and stuff like that where you save up little smaller amounts each time just go with how you think you can handle it so trying a savings challenge is very good because at the end of that challenge you have a chunk of money that you can you know spend or do whatever you want to do with it so this is a really good idea if you haven't started it yet and you've been watching my channel I don't know what's wrong with you at this point I really don't know 
Number four for me is to start a side hustle. This I feel like is very, very crucial because you know, these jobs ain't really paying us much, are they? <laughs> I'm speaking for low income earners. These jobs aren't paying you enough. Like you feel like you work just to pay bills. What, what, what you need to do, honey, is start a side hustle or build passive income somehow. It's either you're gonna get something part-time that you're not really doing as much work. You know, like Instacart is a good part-time job. I used to do that, where you just shop people's groceries, ain't you no know, manager and none of that around you, you know? Get a food delivery app like Uber Eats, Postmates, I used to do Postmates too, Shipped. Those are good little side hustles that you could do. Or if you are a talented and creative person, you can start your own thing. Like Etsy is a, a good platform for you. You can sell printables on Etsy, by the way. Download in Canva and just create stuff and sell them on Etsy as digital downloads. So you are not even pay, like buying supplies and stuff for um, a lot of expense. You literally just make it on your phone, put it up on Etsy, sell it. So there's a lot of side hustles that you can get into. All depends on what you like. Or if you're a creative person, you could start your own side hustle and build your own passive income. That's another thing that will help you to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Number five is living beneath your means listen i've seen it where a lot of people struggle with trying to make a certain lifestyle or i don't know who you trying to show up for <laughs> but you guys are trying to not you guys but a lot of people try to impress other people by doing you know by wearing branded stuff or throwing big old parties or buying uh, gifts expensive gifts trying to win people over stop doing stuff like that especially if you know you don't have money like that you need to be putting up that money into saving challenges or putting that money towards things for you live beneath your means you know like sometimes we feel like we need something like for example who doesn't need um, what girl doesn't need, you know, expensive Brazilian hair and all the expensive stuff we're trying to show out, especially in these days with social media, everybody's trying to show out. The showing out's not going to help you. A lot of people are showing out and if you know them in real life and know how they be struggling, you would not even want to be like them. You don't want to lie into the life that they're living. So live beneath your means. Social media can get a little tricky. Like there's a lot of things that we see every day, people posing and you know, portraying a certain perfect life, a perfect luxurious life and all of that. When behind the scenes, you don't know what they're doing. A, a lot of them ain't nothing going on for them. They in a lot of debt and a lot of problems. They just trying to show scenes. So don't try to be like them. Don't try to follow. I hate people that follow everything someone else does. Live beneath your means, baby. Live beneath your means. Put up your money. Pay off your debts. Do what you gotta do for you and have more money in your pocket eventually. Don't try to satisfy other people. Uh-uh. For me, the next step is to ditch the credit cards. And I'm gonna, <laughs> listen, let me explain something. Credit cards, are very tempting and one thing i do realize is once people like once these companies realize that you have good credit you have good things going on for you you're in a good space financially there they come trying to throw them credit cards at you in the mail trying to hit you in the head with them credit cards there they come attack attack and sometimes it comes in with um coming back to living beneath your means now you see all these credit cards coming in and you just like, uh-huh, $10,000 limit. Oh my God, I could buy all these things. I could throw this big old party to impress my friends. I could do all of that. 
And then later down the line, you never know when emergencies could happen. You know, you never know when you're not able to pay something. So think about it. Me personally, I ditch credit cards. I ain't gonna lie. Like I will have one credit card and I will just pay like my gas on it sometimes and pay it right um, back when the statement comes just to build my credit. But I don't go around accepting every single credit card. That's not a good idea. In the past, I used to do that and I ended up in such a hole I had to dig myself out of and I'm still digging myself out of that hole today. So I will say, ditch the credit cards, baby. Ditch it. Save yourself the stress. Save yourself the stress. And tip number seven for me is reflect. By reflect, I mean print out your last three months um, statements, bank statements. And I want you to take a look at that bank statement, categorize everything, and I want you to see where your money is going the most, or where are you overspending money that you don't need to overspend money, you're just doing that to do that. So print out those bank statements, go over them, look through the bank statements and see where you're, where you're spending all your money. And then when you pinpoint those categories that you are overspending money, you want to cut back on the spending in those categories. So this is very important to reflect back on your previous spending to see what is going wrong, where am I, my money going that it doesn't need to go, and cut back. Cut back on spending the Amazon, um, um, those Amazon orders, those Sheen orders, and Temu, all them things that are that are distracting you guys because that's what it's doing distracting you you feel like you just want to go buy 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 cut back on a lot of the things that you are doing if you are eating out a lot cut back at eating out because you i know you are buying grocery for your house cook 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 your groceries um if you are um ordering food a lot because those food apps oh my god you don't see where your money went that money just gone baby <laughs> when that thing adds up because the food is nine dollars there's a shipping fee there's a transaction not transaction fee but like a what is service fee then there's a tip you have to check all those things those things add up check back on your subscriptions what are you subscribed to on your phone subscriptions is a big thing i'm gonna tell you that because one time i caught apple taking a hundred totaling $110 out of my account every single month for all my subscriptions that they claim that I have. And when I went back over my subscriptions, I only had a total of $51 of subscriptions. So they had to reimburse me back whatever the difference of 51 is from 110. They had to reimburse me back my money that had been taken from me. Because this, I feel like those subscriptions you have to take a keen like you have to really pay attention to them because they are because they're such small amounts sometimes we don't really pay attention to it but those small amounts be adding up I sat down and I went over my bank statements and I calculated every single payment that Apple has taken out of my card and when I did it totaled 110 and I didn't even have half uh, barely half of whatever they were charging me so you guys have to pay attention with this that's why the reflecting is really a good thing because you can go back and see sometimes when you have a certain money in your account and somebody somewhere take out ten dollars or it's like you're less likely to realize if you know what i mean because if you have 223 dollars and 89 cents in your you know if three dollars come up probably you won't even realize if you get what i mean so go back on your bank statement see where you're spending your money stop overspending cut back a little bit and check up on your subscriptions i had to put that in this video because i caught them honey so maybe you could catch them too so this is basically my seven tips in stop living paycheck to paycheck. I hope that my tips help you guys out a little bit because you know I love to help you guys. We're all in this together, okay? So thank you guys for the support. Thank you for subscribing and watching the video and I will see you guys in the next video.
used to work the day away I figured I could maybe pave away No, it's niggas account the